It is the holiday season, and of course, that's the same situation for us and everybody else here on the end zone. So we wanted to share with you our wishes for the holiday season for NFL teams and the NFL postseason as well. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horwitz, Clark Judge, Ian Eagle. Glad to be with you on the end zone here in week 16. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, happy new year. Uh, the end zone presented by Nuvi Phone, the navigational phone from Garmin. And, uh, three wishes. We're not a genie. We don't have a genie up here. It no. kind of doesn't fit into the holiday spirit, but we decided to, three wishes to grant uh, for, for everybody and what you would have for the NFL season. Ian, what are your three wishes for the holiday season? Well, when you told me about the topic, Jason, I thought, who deserves a Super Bowl? Who really deserves a shot? to win it. And in my mind, the combination of Andy Reid, Donovan McNabb, first and foremost, they deserve a crack at winning a Super Bowl. They've been so consistent, and we'll talk more about that. Chris Johnson, he's electrifying. He's been such a superb talent, and he's been a breath of fresh air for the NFL. I'd love to see him set that rushing record, top Eric Dickerson, at least get to 2,000, and then maybe have a crack at setting the record in the final week. And the Rams finally have to get themselves a quarterback. I, I know you guys think that I just show up here and <laughs> it's all off the top of my head, but the reality is I do a lot of work before we even show up here in the studio. I did some research. The last time the Rams took a quarterback in the first round, 1964, Bill Munson out of Utah State. How'd he do? Uh, Bill had a long career in the yeah. NFL, and he had some games for the Rams and then moved on to a bunch of other teams. But I'm going to throw some names out at you. Keith Null, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Jeff Smoker, Joe Germain, Tony Banks, and T.J. Rubley. Those are the last six quarterbacks that they have drafted over the last mm, 17 years. They've got to do better. you got a lot of Big Ten quarterbacks in there, Smoker and Banks <laughs> yeah. and, and uh, Joe Germain, yeah. uh, a lot of guys. We'll, we'll see if they go because they will have number, picks number one or Don't two in the, the draft. Big Ten. You guys are from Syracuse. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Fair Donovan point. McNabb, who's on his wish list. Exactly. Clark. And yours. Yeah, and yeah, yours uh, as well. You shared a little bit of wish for, for the Philadelphia Eagles as well. Yeah, I did, but um, I already got my Christmas wish. Ian is here, so it means oh. future future. Do you guys want me to leave you alone here for a few minutes? References here. I yeah. like that. Uh, no, the first thing on my list, I think, was uh, Indianapolis, uh, San Diego, in the AFC Championship game. Listen, I covered both of these teams, the Colts, when they were in Baltimore. Uh, San Diego is, I think, playing as well now as anyone. I think they're the two best teams right now in yeah. football. I really think that they're playing the best football right now. I want to see them w uh, play then because I think it's really sort of a, a Super Bowl in and of itself. You had Donovan McNabb and uh, Andy Reid. I want to see a little love for these guys in Philadelphia. I was on a radio show there five weeks ago. They wanted Andy Reid fired. Come on. He's been in the playoffs eight years and in eight times in 11 years. They're never happy. Well, maybe they'll be happy this year if they go the, the distance. And then, yeah, soft landing for Jim Zorn. You know, nice guy, good yeah. assistant coach. Not a good head, co head coach. Mike Holmgren, give him a job and, as something. And, and was never even a coordinator. Uh, no. Maybe maybe a, a landing yeah. as go back to being a quarterback coach. Develop right. the guys he's, in Cleveland. He'll really, be the QB coach in Cleveland. Yeah. I don't think there's be any a doubt. a great situation for Jim Zorn. To he's start a good there. assistant coach. Yeah. And, of course, he was in Seattle with Mike Holmgren before going to Washington, uh, which is the relationship there with What's Mike What's on Holmgren. your list? Well, my list is, 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 you know, it's simple to – you mentioned Syracuse. If this were the NCAA tournament <laughs> – we would be talking about who has the best team, who's playing really well down the stretch. I would like to see the Tennessee Titans make the playoffs because, look, right. has there been anybody more exciting? You talked about Chris Johnson. Has there yeah. been a more exciting team the last half of the season than nope. the Titans? I hope they make the playoffs because they are playing. They certainly, the last half of the season, are one of the best five teams uh, there. I would like the worst in the NFL to get better because I can't remember a season where you go into week in, week out, thinking, I don't want to talk about this game. Yeah. I don't want to talk about that game. And then can we please eliminate the thought of 18 regular season games? Did I would agree see, with you on did that. Did you see how bad some of these games – who are the quarterbacks that were – if you can't keep quarterbacks healthy for 16 games, yeah. who's going to be playing in game 17 and 18? Yeah. Uh, you know, so you're going to have to start employing a lot more players. You're going to have to bring a lot more guys, and the quality of football at the end of the season isn't going to be very good, and it, it's not going to be it's not going to be fun to watch. The product that was put out on Monday night was not a very good product, no. No. and no. I can't imagine no. the NFL was happy with that. So that's my wish, and, and I figured you guys thought I'd have something on the Lions – so I would like them to be able to get in Damakong Sioux. Is that's, that possible? Yeah, that's, that's four. That's number four. I, I created the top. Count. Count. So I get to be my four, the four genie. That, that wasn't talked about in the production <laughs> meeting, that there would be four on the list. Well, we'll see how it all plays You're out. such a giver by nature. You just yeah. you just give and give and give. I, I allow you guys to go first. I, I, I step to the back here, and, and that's how we'll see how it is. 
That'll do it for the end zone. Merry Christmas. Happy holiday season. We'll talk about all the playoffs heading into week 17, guys. Happy holidays to you, to you. and everybody else. That'll do it for the end zone presented uh, by Nuvi Phone, the navigational phone from Garmin, GPS navigation with preloaded maps, three megapixel camera, Bluetooth technology, all with AT&T service. For Clark Judge and Ian Eagle, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.